Hello and welcome to, I love that music, welcome to another uh, live stream on Saturday. I know these live streams have not been regularly on a Wednesday, but for various reasons, they will be on a Wednesday with Lynn. Um, some days we mix it up and we bring on guests and I'm going to introduce my guest, the lovely Cathy from the chat box. Welcome, Cathy. Hi. Hi, Craig. How are you? So I'm happy very well to be here. here. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Now, um, if you don't know Cathy, for people who haven't seen her before, she is an English teacher with a very successful academy in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And that's where she lives in the beautiful city of Buenos Aires. And she's also um, the driving force, the momentum behind a wonderful Facebook group for learning English that I really enjoy being a part of as well called The Chat Box. And we'll be talking about that a bit later. But before we um, get to know a little bit about Katty, let's say hi to people who are joining us live. Ah, oh, Emma, you made it. I was worried that you wouldn't be able to come because you had something this evening. So I'm really pleased to see you here. Hello. Hi, Jen. Hi, Letty. Thank you for, for joining us. And of course, if you're watching the replay, it's lovely to have you along with us as well. And Graciela from When I Say This. Oh, dear. So, <laughs> do you know Graciela? I know her. If okay. it's the one that is, if it's a Graciela, I know because I know some many Gracielas. <laughs> okay. Hi, Cloud Cub. Good to see you. Um, and it's yeah, it's really nice to get going. So let's talk a little bit about um, Katy's um, uh, community over there in the chat box. So if you are not a member the first thing you should do is go there now immediately and sign up. This is the full link that I will put in the chat. Whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook Live, you can uh, copy and, and paste that in your, in your browser, in your internet browser. And it's the chat box Facebook group. So if you're using Facebook and you want to join a lovely community, go over there and, and, and join it. Now, Katy, um, first let's start with talking about the chat box because I think I joined about three, three and a half years ago, something like that. Yeah. When, yeah, right. when did you, can you tell us about the birth of the chat box? What's the story behind it? How did it start and how did you become involved? Well, then, um, yeah, it was like um, three, three years ago, okay? Um, you know, I, I have been a teacher. I've been a teacher for about 20 years, I think, okay? And the thing is that even though I used to speak in English, you know, uh, when I had the lessons, you know, um, it was very difficult for me to actually, you know, perform. Actually, you know, uh, when I was, uh, when I travel, maybe when I you know, go to the United States or something, it was difficult for me to go and, you know, actually go and chat with people, right? And I, and I thought to myself, is it good, you know? Is it really, you know, something wrong with it? You know, all the grammar, all the vocabulary and, and no possibility to actually express right so you studied grammar you studied grammar for a long time i assume yeah. when you were growing up i grew up learning english you know you know I, I, all my life so the mm. thing is that i met christian sanders i think you know him right from kanguru english and yes. you know and, and i started to talk to him and then i started also to to watch you and watch bob the Canadian, many, many other excellent, you know, teachers and people who, who was saying something, right? Saying something different, you know? It's not that you need to be perfect. You don't need to, to be uh, worried about your mistakes. Just go for it, right? And then I said to myself, I need a place, okay? And, and also when I was talking to Chris and, you know, and he said, maybe you should do something you know, create a space where people could just go there, make friends, and start, 
you know, using the language, not learning, using, because as you practice, as you, you know, as you try to express yourself, it's going to be better, right? In, with time, you know, not immediately, but, you know, it's going to be better as, as you get to, to, to do it, right? And then mm -hmm. that was the thing, yeah. So that's, and it, what do you say about it being a place to practice English and take part in the community is very, very true. It's very supportive. So everybody, they help each other there. It's very caring. It's a very thoughtful and interactive place. And you'll find, well, let me show you. You'll find discussions. You'll find people making videos. You'll, what, what other things can people find there, Katty? I have to say something, okay? Um, I can see Rita Greco say that my cap is fantastic, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rita. Well, this is what happens inside of the chat box, right? It's not me. It's not that I do this, okay? It's all the members, you know, the members come with their ideas to do something, okay? And they make this place alive okay it's alive because of them you know they they put you know challenges um oops. you can see singing we love, <laughs> we love singing you know we someday we're, okay we're singing okay so at our meetings we we get together okay it's not me craig it's you know it's the, it's the community the, the, the interaction that's right so you, 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 do you remember this idea that um, uh, the, the, I mean, this, if you add one plus two plus three, you know, you have a number, right? But if you have a community, if you have a team, the team is more than the, the, the adding of the numbers, right? You know, yeah. Something like that. It's, it's what happens inside of the chat box, right? It is. It's it's a lovely, very warm place, and I really enjoy spending time over there. Um, talking about the students that you have in your academy, as well as some students maybe you know through your career and through the chat box as well, what do you think the biggest challenge is that students have when they're learning English? And I've written my answer on the back of this card, <laughs> so I'm interested to see if we agree. I'm going to let you go first. And then I'll turn my card over. What's the most difficult thing for students when it comes to, to English? Oh, we, we should ask them here, right? The people yes. That are joining. Why don't you write in the chat and tell us what's most difficult for you as okay. well? Do, do you want me to answer or I, I have to wait for them to say something? Let's give them, let's give them a few minutes. So yeah. Rita, yeah. Cloud Come, what's been the most difficult thing so far for you? Mm -hmm. when you think of your learning process in English. Jen, what do you think? Caroline? Oh, hi, Caroline. Good to see you. Um, Ramon, Rita, what's been the most difficult thing, Letty and Gemma? <laughs> what did you say? Cla Claudia what? says speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Claudia. Has that been your has that been your experience too, Katty? That speaking is the most problematic thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I also run an academy here. It's local, right? I have many students coming over, right? Claudia speaking, yes. Yeah. Rita listening. She says listening. Okay. Listening, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, Katty. Go ahead. Well, yes, I, I always have the same reaction, right? People come here and say, okay, I know grammar, I know some vocabulary as well, but it's difficult for me to express myself, you know, it's so difficult. And I always say, it's because you want to be perfect and you want to, I mean, maybe you need to memorize the structures and, and everything that you've learned on books, right? And, and here, maybe you are going to unlearn a bit, right? Because sometimes we need to unlearn some 
rigid structures, right? Mm -hmm. the, the language can be dirty and beautiful, right? So it, we don't need that perfection all the time, you know? Of course, that we all want to sound nice, you know, easy to be understood, okay? But that is okay, yes, it's totally true, right? But you don't need, it's going to be on time, it's going to be like that with time, okay? Yeah, but not, you, you don't need to block yourself, right? Because you, you cannot say something, Google, search yeah. uh, round maybe you can you know you can don't say exactly what you wanted to say make it like a this uh, you know round the, the phrase or the vocabulary you don't remember right yeah. did you do you remember a moment in your learning process when you're you were learning english where something changed and something clicked and suddenly you found the confidence to to speak fluently well, that was there a is particular very, time? Very. Do you want them to to answer that? You know, losing your shyness while speaking, lack of confidence. Yes, yeah. I would. Letty, hello, Letty. How are you? Hi, Letty. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, well, let me tell you something, right? Um, I was always kind of shameless. Okay, so it's not exactly. If, if I, uh, you know, want to follow the line Letty just gave us, um, I was I was shameless, you know. I am shameless. But so you just jumped in and you you didn't care what people thought. Yes, I don't care. I made a lot of mistakes and I am a teacher, you know. And I I don't know a lot of things. When I, you know, having a lesson with my students, maybe I don't know something, and I say, oh, I don't know this. Let's Google together. I don't I don't care. I don't, I am not supposed to to know everything, okay? Nobody but nobody knows everything. I no remember when I first when I first started teaching, there were many things I didn't know about grammar. So if I got a difficult question from the students, from a student, I would say that's a really good question. Unfortunately, we don't have time in today's lesson. I will discuss that with you tomorrow. And that gave me time to look in the book <laughs> and find the answer and of prepare course. the answer for the next day. So Nobody knows everything. It's impossible. Yeah, we grow together. Yeah. We grow together. saying, uh, remembering phrasal verbs. Yeah, phrasal verbs oh are very God, tricky. Oh, my God, phrasal yeah. verbs. Yeah. Horrible. Uh, Jen says, uh, Graham and speaking. Um, <laughs> and Caroline, I don't have enough patience with myself. Mm. Yes, it needs a lot of patience. Yeah. Any any comments on that, Katie? Anything you can help Caroline yes, with, with patience? Dear. <clears throat> you you know what? Um, that is because you may be um, a bit. Uh, I mean, your, your your expectations about yourself. You know, you know when 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 you stop. You know this kind of uh, judging, right? That that you need to get to some point, right? Then it opens some doors that are much better right because you you what you need to do is to create um a relation um, i mean when like this right i am so happy to be talking to you craig in this moment and having <laughs> likewise <the> yes <laughs> and and also having the chance to see all these commentaries here you know everyone saying something and you know what this is important, right? The relationship that we have created, not only in the chat box, right? Also with our students, with other teachers, great teachers, right? You know, and, and this is this is what I mean really matters, right? And in the end, we are going to find a way to understand, you know, to each other. I mean, to understand each other, okay? We are going to find a way, okay? So I think it's all about expectations. Of course, you want to, I mean, in my case, uh, at least, I want to be, you know, I, and to have the, the I, I think the, the perfect beat, you know, like sushi, the perfect beat, you know, that you taste, this is delicious. Okay, I love to have that sensation when I am trying to express something. When I yeah. find that, it's like a, a wow factor. <laughs> oh, I got it. I, now I can say it, okay? <laughs> yeah, and that's the wonderful thing about the, the chat box because it is that kind of community where you can 
make those uh, singing videos and join in discussions. Speaking of the discussions, uh, Miller's Miller's joined us. Hi, hi, Miller. Yeah. She's very Yay. active in <laughs> in the chat box. Actually, Miller, if you want to join us, or if anyone wants to come and join us, I've put the link in the chat here. So if you want to join us on StreamYard, um, Mila, just jump in and, and say hello. So Mila <laughs> organizes, um, is it a weekly chat for oh all discussion God. for members? Of, is that right? Of, Mila has a space called Monday Chats, okay? Yeah. It's so crowded. I mean, you know, everyone wants to join there, you know, and she has this wonderful meetings, you know, on Mondays. N Monday is n now the best day of the week. No more, <laughs> uh, how can I say, uh, sad Mondays. Uh, there is an expression to call the Monday because it's rainy Monday. Mondays, blue Monday, blue Monday, blue Monday. No more yeah. blue Monday. Okay. No more blue Monday. Now it's starry day. I don't know. It's a wonderful day. Okay. It's a sunny, it's a sunny Monday, sunny Monday because Miller right. does the discussions. <laughs> Graffiella says it's never too late to learn. True. Yep. I'm learning new things every day. It's never too late to learn. And you've got another vote for your cap. So it was a really good decision to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Teresa's come to join us from Krakow in Poland. And Cloud Come says, when I understood the past perfect, something changed in my brain but the most important thing happened when i took the decision to be fluent and started to overcome my own barriers that's a nice expression to overcome yeah. your barriers yeah. and jump in mm -hmm. and start to to speak yes, but it's I not know. it's not easy i sympathize but you have to jump in you have to start speaking to um to progress Mm -hmm. Yes, Kathy, go but, ahead. But you, I was about to say that maybe Claudia, you know, and she's she's got a point here, right? Because perfect, present perfect is difficult to understand in in some places where they never use that tense. For example, here in Argentina, unthinkable, never. They use past simple. When I told my students, my local students, that it, you don't need to, to worry because you can use the past tense instead. You can use mm -hmm. it. It's not a must. If you are going to maybe to, you're going to, to, to have a, an examination, then you need to do it because the examinations are going to test you on that. But if you need to, to talk and to, 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 you know, to use the language, you don't need it really, you know? Yeah. And also, I've noticed that in American English, the present perfect is used less than in British English. I've, right. I've heard some expressions recently where um, on American podcasts, American English podcasts, they say, I already did it. Whereas I would say I've already done it. So I would use a present perfect. But but American English speakers tend to use the past simple a lot more than the present perfect. I want to bring in uh, Teresa or Teresa to say hi she says she wants to join us hello there how, how do you say your name in Polish, it... Teresa. 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 Yeah. Teresa. But it doesn't matter if you call me you know <clears throat> Teresa. it's, Teresa it's lovely to lovely to have you join us can you tell us a little bit Teresa about how you became a fluent speaker I think I, I'm still not a fluent speaker, but I do my best. Sounds you wonderful know, to I me. I <laughs> always was a very big fan of English language, but in the past, firstly, my first foreign language was Russian, you know, because of the political issue, we had to learn yeah. Russian, it was mandatory. Sure. So I started learning English at secondary school when I was 15. And of course, we just had only a book and the book didn't say anything to us. So I would say <laughs> we didn't have any practice with speaking or listening. Wow. And, you know, I did my best in the past. I mean, I could learn a lot of grammar on my own after school, of course, because it is possible if you have a good grammar book, it is possible to learn a lot. But you can't learn how to speak or how to understand without any practice exactly so how yes. did you how did you do it so you know i just uh, from time to time i attended english classes at language schools in krakow but you know they 
square, and I think they are still quite expensive. So only, not very often, just from time, time to time. But since I retired, uh, okay, I've been retired since 2018. And uh, since then, I attended English classes at Seniors Club. So at, <clears throat> I could not only learn, but also meet people at my age. It was very good because, you know, I live alone. So sometimes feeling a little bit lonely. But, you know, the coronavirus came, everything stopped. And yeah. then I decided to join to some groups on Meetup. A lot of them are on Meetup and mm -hmm. also on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I would say at the beginning, I couldn't say a word. You know, I was a little bit shy. I was confused because usually I am the oldest member in each group. So no, just, no. You know, maybe not, but you know. <laughs> Just young people, sometimes teenagers or people between 20 and 30, and me, uh -huh. uh, a woman over 60. So, but you know, step by step, uh, at the beginning, I mostly only listened to people. But one, one day I, I was asked a question. So, you know, I start speaking, and what uh, helped me a lot. I got a very good feedback, not only from the host or just the teacher, because, you know, some <clears throat> some groups are hosted by teachers, some not, just, you know. Mm -hmm. But also from the members. So they, they told me, oh, how nice that you still, you know, want to learn uh, and you can use uh, Zoom and things like that. And they compare me with their parents or, or sometimes grandparents, you know, so my mom or my dad even uh, didn't yeah. know how to use Zoom and computer. And, you know, and because of that, I think I, um, I became more more uh, confident English speaker at, at, uh, at the beginning. And, and also probably more confident with technology because um, yeah, you, no, I you were the first one was, to find no, the link was, and uh, jump in. I was familiar quite good with technology before. Okay. Before it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Teresa, can I, can I stop you for a second? Because yeah, sure, Mila is, is, is waiting very patiently also. I want to bring her oh, in as well. Yeah, Hi. Okay. Hi, Mila. Yes. Good to see you. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. It's, it's very nice to, to speak with you finally. Yes. yes. Like uh, we communicated only through technologies, double screen, I would say. Yes. <laughs> but I feel Your like video. I know I feel like yeah. I know you because of the videos, because of Mila course. publishes videos yes. from yes. from the city where she lives. So when you do that and you get over your shyness and you make a video and practice your speaking and put it in the chat box. Then you feel like you. That's I think. What do you agree, Katy? That's that of helps to course. create the community because you feel like you know people, even though you've never spoken to them. No, of course, Katy knows because uh, she met Graciela in real life, and uh, I think it it felt uh, the same. And I met also a girl from from the group in real life, and it it seemed uh, like I I had known her for all my life, forever, like forever. Mm. And uh, Teresa, hello. Oh, hi. We, we hi. miss you in the chat box. I yeah, miss, you I know, sent you yes. I send you invitations every week. I just yeah. I'm persistent <laughs> and finally yeah. you will show up. I know. You know, uh, to be honest, I belong to many groups and I sometimes know, the course, Zoom meetings yeah. are at yeah. the same time and I can't you know, I can't choose. I don't know. Okay. Uh, yes, I understand perfectly, but you are always welcome and we are waiting Thank for you. you. With I your, will. Wonderful. I will English. show up. <laughs> in, in Mila, way. what time do you usually have your conversations on a Monday? It's uh, seven thirty of your time. You are welcome to. Seven thirty PM, um, PM, PM, of course. European PM. time, Central European time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So once more, I'm going to paste the link in the chat. If you are not a member, um, it's totally free. Go and join. Yeah. And practice your English. And make that jump. I mean, you, you have to jump in the water in order to swim, and you have to try to speak English and, and get out there and try and get over any shyness and, and get some confidence that way. What was your experience like, Mila, when you first started speaking English? Do you remember? 
no. how you felt and when and when you did was it in the no, classroom? I, I, I have never or? had this fear. I, I have never had the, this fear. Maybe because I I have all, always loved English. Maybe just it it has always been a pleasure for me. Maybe for this reason. Yes, mm -hmm. I just love every word I pronounce. Even if I don't know any, I just go to a dictionary and look them up, and I'm happy that I know it now and so on. So I, I can't say I, I had this fear of speaking. No, it always was a pleasure. Uh, I, I, I said many times, like I, the way, the point when I got back to to my learning, so it's uh, I had to communicate and uh, I just wasn't able to, and I promised myself to to come to my city and to go to the school, and I did it, and that's all. So my life uh, changed at this moment. That's, it that's it lovely. became uh, richer. Oh. Cloud counts thanking you, Cathy, and chat box for triggering her confidence. That's a lovely expression to trigger or to begin or to start getting confidence in the language two years ago yeah claudia we we miss you too where is your whiskey we miss <laughs> your whiskey at our monday chat yes because you know we uh, it's a tradition we take a photo in the end of uh, the meeting uh, and everyone is supposed to smile so we tried with <laughs> cheese but uh, but claudia said whiskey works better <laughs> <laughs> Well, if there's, if was, there's whiskey, I'll have to try and come. Yeah, every, sure. everybody everybody smiles when you <laughs> say, you see, it works with you as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah so me, Claudia, whiskey. Claudia, take whiskey and come on my Monday. I, I didn't, I wasn't sure her name was Claudia because she sometimes comes to my stream, so it's Claudia. Mm -hmm. Okay, I you always call Claudia. you welcome, yeah. so Claudia. Mm -hmm. And Rita's saying, um, don't forget your psychological roots, Cathy. <laughs> You're able to look at yourself and others in a deep way. That's true. Understanding mm -hmm. and helping. Yeah, that's very true. You know what? I was I was listening carefully to Mila and of course to Teresa. Um, the experience of the chat box is good because the people there, um, of course, not all of them, right? But we have a group of very kind people, right? Um, that they create the, the, I mean, the ideas. I only said, fly, go fly, okay? Do it, okay? Do it. Go ahead. It's very good. It's excellent, okay? So um, I, I, I have to be thankful, you know? This is, this is something that I enjoy, okay? I, when I get into the place, I don't think that I am, uh, I mean, doing something because I have to. It's because I want to. I want to be there, see what is the, the last com comment, you know. Uh, it's it's something, it's just like a place where we meet, okay. And uh, I don't know, you know, if this is going to continue for a long time, if, if some in, in some point it's going to stop or, or I don't know. But I am sure that a lot of the people there will be doing something else, you know. If the, if the chat box one day is not there, it's going to continue alive with different ways, okay. Mila with her chat with, the, with a lot of work. Roberto with the off the cuff, you know, yeah, something yeah, that you, you have to stand up there and out of nothing, you know, you have to say something about a topic, uh, singing, you know, uh, Eva with the commentaries, you know, Eva mm -hmm. is key there because if, if, if Eva wasn't there, I mean, how can I or Mila or, or the other members be there to, to say something to the people that post something, right? Yeah. You know, this is something that is only and possible. Eva's, Eva's, um, Eva's a wonderful facilitator. She, yeah. she, she has a talent Incredible. and a gift for getting people to to answer yes. questions and get involved in the subject. It's wonderful. That's right. And I also, to, yeah. and also it's, it's, you know, she's like the one I talk to when I have a problem. For example, maybe someday I need to take a decision inside the chat box. And I always talk to her, you know, I said, okay, Eva, what do you think? We, we should do something. And, and she helps me a lot. Right. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there's another person waiting to come in, Alexandra. I'm not sure if this is possible because I don't know the limit of guests I can. Let's try. Yes, it works. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome, welcome, Alexandra. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to Alexandra meet you. Alexandra waits at midnight. Yes, Alexandra. Ah, it's midnight. It's midnight. It's midnight. <laughs> over here. Yeah. It's Sunday. Do you, do you do you know each other? Are you a, a, a chat box? Of course, we all oh, okay. know each yes. other. Of course. Okay, cool. <laughs> Can I ask you then, because I'm I have four people here who were not um, born native speakers. You, you've all four of you have acquired English, and become very good speakers of English. One question that came up um, last week, I was asked, is about having an, an English persona when you start speaking English. Is that something you've ever thought about? Having, like, how do you put yourself across? as a non-native English speaker, does, did that ever occur to you? Did you ever think about that? Because you have your personality in your language. Yes. Who you are in your language, in Polish, in Russian, in, in Spanish. But how, when you're speaking another language, have you ever consciously thought about or considered how you put yourself across, how you're communicating as an English speaker? <clears throat> I have already um, said about that, I think, with Hadar, that I'm um, absolutely a different person when I speak English language. In so, what way? Really. I don't know why. Maybe because I forgive my mistakes more. So I feel more confident just because it's not, not my mother tongue. So I can forgive myself. It's okay. If I make a mistake, it's okay. So, and uh, this process um, helps me also to be more confident in my ordinary life, in my mother tongue. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. In my case, um, I, I started being like three or four years old, but back then I used to sing, okay? You believe it or not, okay? And... I used to sing jazz. Can you imagine a four-year-old girl singing jazz? Okay. You? You? Yes, of yeah. course. <laughs> I can. I can imagine. I can. Okay. I, can. I was like, at last my love has come along. You know, but I didn't know. My what lonely I days are over. You know? Yeah. I I didn't know. I, I didn't know. I just make the sound, right? Okay. So I think that in my case, I was like in love, like Mila also said, you know, she's in love with English. I was mm -hmm. in love with the sound of, of that something. And I didn't know what was it. You know, I didn't know the meaning, but I felt something. In my case, that was the experience. Yeah. And what about you, Alexandra? I think yes, I I did personal because when you when you learn a new language, you need to immerse yourself as much as possible in order to have a result. Because I was taught um, in this case to immerse myself into the language because it brings the results. Mm -hmm. And Teresa, did, did this did this question ever cross your mind about how you come across in English? You know, uh, now it's a little bit funny because I live alone. I have usually five or even six Zoom meetings every single day. So sometimes <laughs> I think I speak more English than Polish, you know. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, so it, it was a very funny story. I was at the meeting with my old friends from school and uh, we should we should have introduced yourself a little bit. So I just started in Polish, you know, normally. And suddenly in the middle of the sentence, I said, even though, and then in English, you know. <laughs> so, Oh, wow! <laughs> no, because it was the first thing which came to my mind. You know, it was at the front of your brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you know, everything was. It was a few sentences. You know, that's hilarious. Yeah, but yeah, and then I realized that oh, my English uh, 
is becoming dominant. I, I just came up, came up. Yeah, <laughs> next to run a lot of English, you know. And you know, it was fun. And that's, yeah, no, but Let's... that's true, you know. I live alone, so I can speak in Polish only to myself. Or if, if my sons visit me, or if I go to to do some shopping once a week, and that you know, or visit my mom in law. Yeah, that's all yeah. about Polish right now. <laughs> So let's is no, let's is talking I, about the the um hundreds of people joining the group which was i think fantastic fantastic she wanted to say fantastic yeah but yeah. disappointing that only small percentage take an active part i think there are around six thousand members i saw a little bit more than that yes but i think uh -huh. that's quite normal i i think yeah. maybe through because of shyness people don't contribute as much um i i think it doesn't depend on number that the percentage is uh, the same for any group so mm -hmm. yeah effective mm -hmm. yeah. members think, but you know what true. now uh you know i am not letting i mean i i don't allow the some people who want to join when they don't answer the question okay there is a question okay and the question is important because it's not a yes no question and some what people question say is it? yes it's wh what do you what do you expect from us Okay, mm -hmm. it's what do you expect from us? Okay, what what do you think the chat box can do for you? Okay, and and that's all. And and then the people say yes, or, yeah, yes, only yes or okay, right? If that is the answer, is because either they didn't read the question, mm -hmm. or maybe they don't know how to answer. And I am so sorry, but I need them to answer that. Maybe I want to express, or, or maybe to do something, you know, to, to, to speak. Okay, I don't care, but they have to say something. I think that is a filter I need now, okay? Because I don't want this, this place to grow with people that are not going to be some, some, a little bit active, right? Do something for yourself, right? And some, sometimes it's uh, like people don't need it as well. For example, somebody invited and the person joined because, you know, I try to, to contact okay. newcomers. And before this, this policy, the, uh, like such a thing happened. Like I contact, I greet, and the person asks me, what's the group? What are you talking about? I didn't join anywhere. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, I got one more question that um, I'd like you to think about. Many students, in my experience, tend to get to an intermediate level or maybe even upper intermediate and they kind of plateau and mm -hmm. they find it very difficult to increase their level. Why do you think that happens and what's the solution? Cathy? Well, um, well, that happens because, you know, uh, there are certain words, words, that, you know, and, and structures that are, I think, for survival, right? So you can, you can, you can communicate with that, you know, amount of resources, right? So then you, you, you get there, right? But I think, do you, you, do you remember that before you were asking about something that make a click? Right? On, yes. On, on us. Okay. Yeah. Well, that could be the click when you get to that plateau and you start, you know, like, okay, I can communicate, but then it opens a new whole world. I mean, a new world of details, nuances, you know, and, and the perfect bite. Okay. That, you know, that you have to, you have to, in that moment is when you, I think, it's my opinion, you start to enjoy, right? Because before that, you were like building something, right? Okay. Studying grammar, learning vocabulary, phrasal yeah, verbs, right. yeah. Okay. yeah. And, and then you start to learn a lot, you know, because it's, it's a lot more that you need to, you know, but the nuances, the details, you know, everything that makes the, not only dirty, but beautiful, okay, yeah. language. That's been in my experience with Spanish. It's been very similar. I I 
I studied Spanish. I live here and I can function in Spanish, but I did get stuck on a plateau and I know what I need to do. I need to correct the ingrained common errors that I have. I need to read newspapers in Spanish, which I don't. I need to read books in Spanish, which I don't. And I need to be able to write an email without asking my wife how to spell words. <laughs> so there's a there's a level that I need to to get above now. Um, so do you, do you have any help for me and other students who are stuck on that level, Mila or Alejandra or Teresa? I think that everything is related to motivation. You know, I would say that now I don't need English for any special purpose. You know, I'm retired. I'm not going to travel abroad because I'm a little disabled person. And of course, I don't need to have to pass an English exam. So, but I really, really like it. I love the language. Mm -hmm. So it's the best motivation. I do, I do it because I like it and I want to do it. Nobody forces me, you know, to do it. So I think uh, if, if, you treat uh, uh, learning a foreign language like just fun, pleasure, entertainment, something like that. It's the best way to improve. So for me, you know, I still, I'm still learning. Uh, recently, uh, I'm learning phrasal verb in a quiz, you know, and I struggled a lot, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but I think it is possible to improve, you know. I've improved during pandemic time. It's funny, but it's true, you know. So every cloud has a silver lining, and it's really, really true. Even in hard times, we yeah. can find something positive and improve ourselves. That's true. Every cloud has a silver lining, yeah. and Hema agrees totally with you. Yeah. And yes, I am, um, Claudia, blessed among some wonderful women this evening. I'm very lucky to, <laughs> very lucky oh, today. <laughs> um, Mila or Alejandro, do you have any comments on that? Or yes, I, think I would say yeah, because it depends on the on, on your own much motivation. For example, when you have a certain level of English, you just need to enjoy the pro enjoy the process of it. No focus. At least I'm trying to do that. Don't focus a lot on, on studying grammar or just vocabulary because it's a long process even for us we to know our native language perfect i would say we learn it all the time it's the same with english i always try to tell that my students about it and just trying to understand why you need to study a language why What's your motivate? What's your mot mot motivation for that? Because B two level is is kind of difficult to achieve, even from the, from scratch for most people. As a non as a non native speaker, I would I would say it probably depends on the people. For some people, it's enough to just to start a conversation. For me, as a, as a professional teacher, it's not enough because I'm preparing for the, for the exam. And yes, I need to achieve a certain level of English. But to be honest, B2 level is enough for most purposes in the world, mm -hmm. like studying abroad, working in, in communication etc it's enough it's enough yeah that's true that's why many companies ask for the b2 as a minimum qualification in english because with that level then you can deal with um emails in english you can have a, a conversation about familiar things so yeah i think i would agree with that um milo any comments I think we have to. Yes, uh, I absolutely agree with Alexandra, with Teresa, that motivation is the main thing because, um, like, uh, intermediate le level, you can see your progress. Like, it's it's visible. But when you reach some, some level, when you achieve some level, it's not that visible. 
it's not a, that noticeable for some people it's a kind of frustration maybe and uh, I, I remember an example for example we uh, like um, it was a grammar topic about present uh, and the teacher told us okay you can use will for present tense in some cases and my classmate told me but why you taught like taught us from the beginning that it's not possible why so it's like <laughs> yeah it's yeah so it's a you, very you, dangerous thing to say this is a rule and this is yes yeah, and then you can broke, always an exception you can broke any rule after yeah. but when you achieve some particular level so <laughs> it's possible yeah, yeah. Was, and uh, here for example it's difficult to find um, a course um, uh, higher than b2 so it's just mm -hmm. difficult and everything depends on you here in my city for example it's very difficult to find a group to learn at school yeah but going back to what Teresa was saying earlier i think if you get to be two then that is the level where you've got the basics and then you can start to enjoy english by being a part of a community for example or by reading if that's your passion or by tv series so then you start to go down the roads that you really enjoy um using that that base that you've got of english absolutely um and i think it depends what are your goals you know some people just need to pass an english exam so they are also um, have to be focused on on grammar let's say for me it's maybe more for communication, if, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, people who love traveling also mostly yeah. for communication, you know, ability of communication, but it depends what, the, but I would like to mention one word, one sentence. At the beginning, when I started speaking, I was very focused on grammar, you know, because I didn't have practice with speaking, but I, I would say I learned a lot of grammar, you know. So, but it doesn't work at all because I started uh, I start speaking um, a sentence and in the middle of it, I just wondering present perfect, uh, maybe present perfect continues. So you stop speaking? And, yeah. And you because you were thinking fluency, about the grammar. Stops fluency. And then I decided just to, just to go on, you know, just to speak, even though I realized that Probably I still I had I I made a lot of mistakes, you know. So so it depends how you know so, sometimes people are just shy, they yeah. and we don't know how to broke how to break this his or her shyness, you know. So, That's true. Before um before we close, I just want to mention something that Katy mentioned at the beginning of our conversation, and that's kangaroo English. And uh, Katy, can you give a quick explanation about uh, Christian, his involvement in the chat box, and what he's yeah, doing over there? Yeah, on his, well, on his website? yeah, he's like he's like the the Godfather eh? <laughs> there, you know, because he he wanted, uh, I mean, to to, to sh he's like generous man, right? And and he helped us a lot, you know, uh, there. But you know what? I was thinking that. Um, the main key, the main key, okay, is to forget that we are learning a language, okay, that we are not learning. We, we are developing other tool, maybe, you know, we need, we need to express using this language, so we forget. And that was taken from some of the ideas that Christian shared with us. This is something that we are now doing also, you know, a, with Christian, we are fundraising for, uh, with along with Pencils of Promises, okay, we are fundraising schools in Laos. We are now uh, on the second one, okay. We, we, we achieve, we accomplish the first project now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, something done, okay. Is this the school we can see in the picture here? Yeah, that's building. right. This well, no, I don't know if it's exactly that school because mm -hmm. I mean that is like the, the the show. I mean the picture that shows pencils of promises, right? But yes, mm -hmm. it, the, the schools like that. Okay, now 
Uh, when it's finished, because I think, I don't know if it's September is the deadline, I'm not sure, but when it's finished, we're going to have the actual picture of the school, okay? And now we're tr uh, trying to get the second one. What, so this is like an academy, right? People join there and, you know, the fundraising, it goes directly to this project, okay? Mm, to yeah. this, you know. So uh, I invite all of you, you know, it's, it's incredible what we're doing there. But the mo yeah, so coming back to the other thing, right, is that we forget, Craig, you know, Mila and, and Alexandra and, and Teresa that are, you know, maybe there some, some time, you know, in the chat box. We don't care about the mistakes because, um, you know, this is not what we care about, okay? We forget that we are learning. And in yeah. that moment, magically, we develop. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's um, it's always been the philosophy behind a lot of my teaching. If students are having fun and they're learning while they're having fun, then that's the secret formula mm -hmm. to yeah. enjoyable English. Um, yeah, Caroline, who's actually from Germany, but she, she's living in Spain. She lives in Spain at the moment. With the B2 Spanish exam, I'm very surprised about the variety of topics I can speak. And she gets along perfectly. So, yeah, yeah, B2 is that base level for then going down the avenue and enjoying whatever your passions are, but in English. Okay, um, Teresa, Mila, Alexandra, and of course, Cathy, thank you so much. It's been lovely to have so many people in here. This is the first thank time you. people have been jumping in. And I think that reflects the spirit of the chat box yeah. so yes. Claud you know? claudia who's here very very often Gemma, you used to come in and say hi and speak and practice why aren't you jumping in when i post the link go over to the chat box learn how to have that spirit of just doing it in english um and then you'll find that you'll you'll improve very very rapidly any last words ladies before we go yeah, I would like only <laughs> to add that because it's Saturday, the best day of the week, like yeah. always Christian says. <laughs> yeah. And it's the European yeah. Song Contest, so there's a special reason to... Yeah. Are you watching the European Song Contest today? No. No? No, but I know that it's on fire. It's... Yeah, it's I don't know. Do, do you know? I mean, do you have a, a winner already? I don't know. Not don't yet. It's, it's in the night. In oh. the yeah. night. It's late. It's quite late mm -hmm. in uh, Italy. Yeah. I want to say thank you, Craig. You know, but not it's only because fun. of this. But not only because of this. You know, it's because that. I mean, uh, I have been, you know, uh, talking to you for uh, I think a few, a few. I mean times you know couple of years and yeah. Couple, yeah okay and it's always the same i feel that i you know have new ideas after talking to you you know <laughs> i i have more enthusiasm to continue with this right yeah because some days are we, we are not like every day on the Whoa! okay so but it's, it's only so after the whiskey only after the yeah. whiskey yeah, yeah claudia whiskey. claudia come here with the whiskey <laughs> Come here. Come on, Monday. No, I, I want to. I want to thank you, Katie, on behalf of all the English learners that are in the chat box, and for the new ones who will be joining. It's a. It's an absolutely lovely research, um, resource, and I thoroughly enjoy spending time there with with everybody in the group. So, um, yeah, thanks very much, and thank you, ladies, thank Teresa Miller. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. you. It was and a Alexandra. nice surprise. Yes, the yeah. best day of the week, Teresa. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have a good rest of the weekend and we'll yeah, catch yeah. up again soon. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Take care. Bye.